Uh, welcome to my Java graphical animation. I guess you guys will like this. It's just using timer. I've also randomized the color setting within the program. Then right up there, I use the draw method to paste the test that you guys can, you guys are seeing up there. And uh, this is just like uh, lightning. Oh, you can cut it whatever you want but what I'm going to do right now is uh, take you into Java and you guys will see how I put together this uh, program so let's go into Java right now so the first thing is uh, I'm just gonna start uh, by following the next procedure which is select Java Java application click on next and uh, I just give that a name I call it animation uncheck the create main class click on finish and right up there is my java application so i just select a new jframe and give that a name animations and uh, my package name i'll just call that animation and that's it click on finish the next thing is uh, i'll just set my window let me set the width to about uh, the maximum and um, the height yeah, that's fine and uh, so maybe I should set the minimum as well just leave it there so that's uh, my width is 1020 and uh, height is uh, 800 my preferred size window I'm just gonna enter the same thing. That's what I want. I'll make that 800. Yeah, click on OK. Done. So the next thing I will do is right click on this very frame, go to events. Right there, come here. Windows. Windows activate. Once I'm inside my window activate, I would set my background. So I say this get content plain dot set my back color background color dot black enter my parentheses right there. Bang, that's my background color set. So if I choose to run the program, let me just run it so that you guys see. And there, this how my screen looks right now. There's nothing there. So let's go back to the coding area. Right in the coding area. So there's something you guys need to be aware of. You must import the following because you're going to be, we will need the following color, font, graphic, 2D, rectangle and so on so let's go back to the window activate so the next thing I would do is uh, I would like to draw my text let me just draw that first um, let me create my class timer timer equals new new timer and uh, we set the interval for that timer to to 1000 milliseconds and uh, events right now event E which is referring to my keyboard or the system itself and that will be all that's my timer set right there press enter so I now I need another bracket here so I have two brackets so what we have when it is an error here so let's come down here and enter there should be a bracket there uh, parenthesis okay so let's go back into the system the next thing I'll do is uh, get my graphic my graphic 2D method on board I'll say G equals 
graphic so my graphic method is right there so let me now draw my I'll draw my text so let's say the first thing is set color let me say my color the color of my text I think I might as well randomize the color of this text just like you guys saw earlier on so to do that to get a random color start by saying new color enter your parenthesis int and it's right here you say math dot random let's multiply that by 256 and right here I will enter a comma and enter another integer here and and make that another maps dot random so be random about to give me at least three different colors so let me just copy and I've already copied and paste that and I enter my my semicolon right there so let's now get started the next thing is uh, let's say g dot set font now on the font size new font type then my font right there that will be new font I may use uh, yeah that's cool and let's get a comma right there I might as well speed this up okay that's my font style defined so my font will be g dot draw dot draw string so that will be java java animation or maybe java graphic animation let's put a graphic there graphical animation so that is my that's my font right there drawn i need um the coordinates that's the coordinates let's say 400 by 80 that's my coordinate so let's just try this out and see save okay so far that's how the screen is looking right now you can see the three different colors all right so let me go back into the screen and continue this uh, project okay the next thing is uh, oh just right here before I forget you can see you must include this very line of code timer does start else your program would not start the timer will not take off all right let's go back and start create, developing or creating our eclipse I will now start by developing or creating my buffer image equals let me just call it bath image make that new bath then copy and paste is faster let's paste that right there bang so let's go so let me give it a size comma space dot yeah that's it type int rgb okay that's fine now let me just put this down so that you guys can see what's there it should be a semicolon right there so the next thing i will do is to define another graphic another graphic 2d yeah another trap graphic 2d let's just copy and paste that drop it there good another graphic 2d equals now assign the buffer image to it so this buffer image dot create 
is create a graphic and tie a parenthesis and just press enter so that's created so this very one should give me the following so set uh, set the color let me copy my random color where is it right here let's just copy all of this sort of type copy that and paste it right here there so I have an arrow right here that should be double G so that's cool now let me fill that up so WG dot fill so fill rectangle and for the following size zero comma zero comma ten and a comma ten all right and that all right I've sort of like speed this up a little bit I have my random colors there so fill up the rectangle and the next one is the random color again you might be wondering why you will soon find out why now draw the rectangle this is the rectangle I would like my system to draw right there as the texture okay and that's the shape okay it's gonna be in the form of an eclipse but I also need more colors because it's going to there's going to be mixture of colors so I might as well just copy these two and paste it right there copy paste it right there there's going to be four different color mixture paste now I've paste my other colors so I now have in total one two three four Okay, for method that will mix the color up for me and fill fill the rectangle draw the rectangle fill the rectangle and draw the rectangle maybe I should change this to fill the rectangle but right now let's see let's just run the program and you guys will see what I'm talking about right there fellows can you see that and you see the artwork so all I just need to do now is to copy the rectangles that are drawn, the rounded rectangle, just populate my screen. Okay, just populate this very row, the very first row up there. So let's go back. Right here is my very first one. So I'm going to just comment that and say the facts. Uh, that would be one. So I will now copy this very line of code right here. Let's copy, come right there, paste. So change the coordinate. Look at this. That's one. I will add 79 to that, and that makes it 80. So if I run this, that will be two. If I run this, just watch out what you guys will see now. And that's what you see, guys. Can you see that? Now, now I have two of the rounded rectangles right up there. So let's go back into the coding area. So copy and paste. I'm gonna need 13 of those. So I have two. That's four, that's six now, eight, 10, 12, and one more there. So I now have 14. So let's delete this very line. Okay, so come here, that's 13, uh, 11, 10. There guys, now I have it uh, all together. In total, I have 13 of those. So let's go back up here. And uh, each of the, each of the objects, I will now add I've added 79 to this. I will now add another 79 to this 80. And that will give us 159. 159. Add another 79 to the 159. You get 2, 3, 8. And so on. This will be 317. 
so let me just speed this up and I'll get back to you guys okay now I've finished my entering the coordinates so let me run the program what you will see is rows of rounded rectangle covering the the text right there guys can you see that and there's one missing here maybe I should just put one more there make it 14 let's go back let's make that 14 so just copy here copy all of these paste that's 14 right there that will be on column 14 and this will be 9949 9. good so save run and here we go guys look at that all right you might be wondering how come it's not animating all right let's add that to it the next thing is to apply a for loop right up here let's write up here you guys see that right here apply a for loop okay and the for loop we also have a method so I'll say for int j equals 1 j less than and equals to 20 and j plus plus so let me enter a curly bracket there right now say g dot rotate rotate enter the random mass uh, mathematics function right there okay that's the mass function that's uh, uh, sorry got carried away enter a mass as pi and then divide the pi i believe you all know what pi is divide the pi by 20.0 okay that's it there so we have that set look at this curly bracket right here so i'm mean, gonna delete that and paste it right underneath here okay just here right here there so i have my curly bracket covered let's move this up now run the program and watch out what you guys will see look at that guys can you see that beautiful artwork you see that that's what we've just developed and that's how you develop a graphic animation in java so guys i'll be right back with more graphic animation in java and uh, for now you all have a nice day but before i leave let me just show you guys the code one more time so that you can develop something similar or maybe much better right up there let's go up there make sure you import the following scroll right down and from window activated that's the event procedure you use the background the timer the graphic method colors move right down let's take it down more so those are my rectangles and that's it folks remember the timer make sure you start your timer as well so I'm just gonna call it uh, a day for now so I'll leave you guys with a beautiful animation before I go